All right, there we go. Got my audio here. Okay. Next round is ready to start shortly here. It's going to be round eight between Oshavire Avonaga versus Edicaro. Edicaro, I've played before myself at the Alchemist Cup in Malaysia. Edda representing Team Nigeria there and also sporting routinely a WESPA rating upwards of 2,100. Starting a little bit slow by his lofty standards today at 3-3, three and three, but no one's going to be surprised to see Edicaro finishing in the top group um, by the end of the tournament. When it hits round 24, I would be shocked if Edda had not worked his way back up. So let's see how he performs here in this game. Oshavire is no slouch himself with a uh, Wesper rating in the 1900s. So this should be a pretty good game. Excited for it. Round eight, we got three more today till we finish it up. Um, I see the timers, I think, hopefully, we'll figure out where they are. I know, oh. I see something here. Whatever. We'll try to we'll try to get the timers oriented in the right spot at some point as the players bag up the tiles. So Yeah, I'm definitely going to be thinking about, you know, what can we do to um smooth over the at least the board you know some kind of viewable board let's see if we can fix that for tomorrow it's been okay it's been viewable it's watchable but hoping hoping to take it another notch up from there so we shall see what happens here Oshaviri going first the player should yep yep um players should feel ready to start any time here I think everything is correct. I just have to, I guess, I'm not sure what exactly happened with the clocks. Um, I don't know. That's something to fix at some point, I guess. Why are they like this? All right. They must have moved. Replace all player cameras with images of my face. <laughs> I think the player cameras, ironically, are the one thing that can stay, right? Like they can, they can keep, they can stay exactly the way they are, um, because it's okay if they're a little bit blurry. Um, all right, the board though, the board you got to see. Um, the racks, obviously, we are using a different method. All right. We are underway. Oshaviri's first rack, not very good. It's going to be hard to come up with something exciting for him to play here. I can't imagine there's anything much better than, like, wait for him. Seems implausible. Um, hold on. This looks a little off. I don't know why it's always different. All right. Um, let's see here, paste. Uh, okay. Whoop, looks like the player cams tilted pretty far down here. Uh, all right, let's say that. <laughs> Replace all player cameras with infinity words. I mean, it's not, it's it's absolutely possible for me to put infinity words on screen somewhere, right? Like I could literally just do this. If you guys really want it, I can put it however however you guys want somewhere on screen here. I'll just put it here. Well, maybe that's a little too good real estate. Put it in the corner here. 
It's a little hard to see. <laughs> it's a little hard to see. Um, all right. So I, I have sent word that the player cams are tilted pretty far down. Oh, okay. Yeah, I would have to change uh, change the infinity words to every screen. So I think we'll have to go without. But maybe I can design that. Um, yeah, I, I, I've put in a request to get the player cams tilted up a little. And I see the timers. I don't really know the best way to fix that right now. All right. So it looks like an exchange for Oshaviri going first and a responsive picks by Edda, which makes perfect sense. It's definitely the best play for him here. Oops. Sorry. Um... So that makes sense. 24 points to start the game. Takes a Y hook, but that's not a big deal. Oh, look at this. Nice play here. Um, so there is one. I'm sure the, the sharper folks out there will know that there is one bingo with this from the eye that reaches the triple. I'm guessing some of you folks are going to shout it out as soon as I mention that. As soon as somebody does, or I'll wait a few more seconds. Anybody see it? Bingo from the eye. I'm going to spoil it momentarily. Impetigo. Nice, nice idea there. But emoting is pretty good as well. Nothing too bad about that. <laughs> Alex Ding's very nice. All right, let's see. We got upside down board. All right. So the the only thing about emoting that's unideal is first you have this spot right here. That's an easy scoring spot. Then you have a double double lane through this E. And I guess you could potentially say demoting, oops, sorry, demoting as a hook. That's something to worry about as well. And Oshavire's post bingo draw, not what he would want to see by any means. Fortunately for him, he's got 78 points. I'll update that. And uh, Edda doesn't really have a good rack of his own. Um, so it looks like the player cams are fixed quite a bit. That's good. That's what we like. Um, so he's going to play Guile. That does look like a pretty solid choice for him. There's not too many other there's not too many other five letter words that play anywhere. In fact, that might be the only one that plays in that spot, which makes it a really good choice for Etta here undoubling his use, which that is definitely what he wants to see here. And wow, what to do with this? This rack is kind of challenging. Is it possible that if you were going to make a play here, would it be possible to play something like a G right here? So leaving three A's? <laughs> I don't know. Suggestion of Jaga. Yeah, that's a fun one through here, or probably WTF wants Jaga through this, oh, no, hold on, sorry. Jaga through this spot right here, just for the lols, if I had to guess. Um, this is either an exchange or, I don't know, I think exchanging is definitely called for here. A G is maybe worth it, leaving three A's right here, going across, maybe, 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 is that worth it, but, um, probably not. So, uh, what happened here? <laughs> Is Eta Carl Cuber as in Scrabble cubes? I don't know. Why do you ask? <laughs> oh, like a speed cuber? Is that, I don't get, I don't, is emoting G a thing? All right, so he does elect to play a G. I'm actually kind of impressed by that because I think mathematically it's probably correct. Oh, he has Q. Oh, wow, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, 
He has Cuberty. He could go through Cuberty at any time and become a full cube man. As a little cube, you go through Cuberty. Uh, unfortunately, that doesn't fit anywhere helpful. Um, so, I mean, he has pretty good bingo tiles. He's got something in there. He's got ERT. That's good. He's got a C. That's pretty good. The B, U, and Y, not as good. So he's definitely going to try to be playing some of those letters if he can. Um, there is, yeah, as physics points out, that's very, very impressive play. So physics points out that potentially you can play Butyric here for 36 points. Very, very high score. If he misses that, he could potentially just play by, which is not that far off. Uh, the reason that that's nice is simply because... You keep decent bingo tiles. It's easy enough to play through here. You also set up yourself. Maybe you draw something ending in E going down. But uh, Butyric is definitely the play here, if you see it. If you see it, which is a big if. By WTF. I know he's just uh, saying BY. Whoop. All right. Hopefully we got that. Let me see uh, while we're waiting. Maybe I can get the timers. It looks like they're, oh man, um, let me see, I'm trying to submit a request to fix this the easy way as opposed to force me to do the whole thing. Um, Ed is having a good think here. I don't want to disrupt the game too much, but hopefully, yes, there we go. Okay, I think, yeah, here, this is going to do it. All right. Um, okay, now, wait a sec. Timer, this one, where is this one? Almost. There it is. Okay, got our timer back. What are we about to see? Beery. Very interesting. That is a surprising choice. Um, Beery is surprising. It scores decently well. 24. That's nowhere near as much as 36 for Butyric. Oh, he switched it to buy. Okay. We like buy much better. So the, the classic, placing the inferior play on the board only to put back the better one. Okay, there we go. Here's my timer. Transform, copy. We're going to fix this momentarily. I promise. Well, not if the players are playing fast. I can't fix anything. 100 to 69. Nice. Looks like Diata was probably the play there, leaving two more A's, which is actually, as, as plays go, that's... Not so bad, having left three A's on the previous turn. <laughs> yeah, well, isn't that the way, Alex? Um, I feel like that's the way in all conversation, right? When somebody says something, oh, that's so interesting. They usually mean something else, and it's often negative. All right, so Diata, the only issue with that play is it made a big, big double-double lane. <clears throat> And uh, Trounce, and once again, <laughs> at uh, picking up his initial play and putting something else. But either way, both of these plays are going to score 92 points. So very, very nice bingo. Cornute. Aya was playable under emoting. Oh, that would have been very nice. So the suggested play there of... Uh, i got to fix this at some point. Uh, it'll... Hopefully tomorrow it'll be a little better. Um, 
Suggested play of just AIA under here instead of Diada would have saved maybe a bit of grief on the Trounce play. Still, Bingo's definitely going to be going down. Unerotic, neurotic, those plays would still have played. Um, so the suggested idea here on the Diada turn was simply to play Aya instead for not very many fewer points. And then you're getting hit with nowhere near as heavy of a bingo. And you have a better leave. So there's a slight improvement there. Um, so anyway, let's see. Oh, very quickly. So after, oh, there, oh wow. Okay, I had thought Cornute would be the play, but apparently Trounce was the play. And um, with this rack, a head looked like a nice option. Instead, it looks like Oshivire is considering playing just H A E D hide, hide. I definitely like using the extra vowel. So his play here leaves three vowels, which feels like something you would want to avoid, even at a cost of giving a better scoring spot back in return. Sometimes. All right, let me see if I can get the timers working again. Um, oh no, it was this one, I think. Copy. How fast can I do this? Hopefully even faster. All right, hopefully these will be fixed. Okay, whoops, sorry. Uh, all right, so Etta plays, looks like a pretty reasonable choice. W-A-I-S, ways under there, that looks really good. It gives very, very little back. E-E-W doesn't take any hook at the end, it's just the expression, ew. Um, oh yeah, Trounce 01, great point tactics. So Trounce, after Diada hat plays here, but of course, after the play of Aya, instead, Trounce would have played here for a similarly big score right here, going down. Um, so this looks like a good play for Etta. He is starting to increase his lead, especially as we see Oshavire with a very difficult rack that's not going to score very well. It's not going to leave particularly well. It's too vowel heavy, and the only consonant you have is duplicate. So that's not ideal. Oh, what happened here? This really didn't work. Did they move? Did they move the timer? They did, didn't they? Oh, brother. All right, hold on. There's there's no winning here. Timer needs to be motionless, as I've said a number of times. Okay. Copy. Doing this again. Sorry. We'll get there. We're learning. Okay, now it should theoretically be fixed again until it gets moved again. All right, so we had two plays coming in quick succession it looks like Ilya was the play and then from his rack of out wigs interesting play of iwi there that leaves kind of an imbalanced leave it's a good idea obviously to block the open eye of Ilya. I'm not not arguing with that um but yeah it's tricky um <laughs> fish for end plane <laughs> yeah exactly all right, let's see. I think we just need to update the scores now. They're slightly ahead of what they were, and this is accurate. Okay, now. Um, gut rots. Looks like gut rots and rot guts both play on the board right now. I wonder. So <laughs> this is kind of funny. Let me just see what happens here. Yeah, so this is this is amusing. 
So on this turn for Oshavire, there is very little to do here, right? With this rack, the best static play here, totally independent of board position. When we say static in Scrabble, it means without simulation or concerning any nuance of the board at all. The best, the best play here, whoops, is Wannel for 34 points. Very, very nice play. An obscure UK English only word. Normally you would not want to do a play like this necessarily because it opens, um, oh, hold on. Because it opens you up to potentially damaging plays on top of this E. You can get hit here. But in this particular case, it's basically the only play that blocks both rot guts here, starting with R, rot guts going across, or gut rots here going across. So if not for that, I'm quite sure. And look at Edda. Look at him. Look at him in the in the power position too. He's in the power position. When you have a good rack, it's really hard not to lean back and be like, yeah, I got a nice, I have a bingo. It's going to play, right? So let me get this off. So plain is the play. So let's see. Is, is he going to play rot guts? I expect he will. It's the only bingo. It's available hooking AH, but maybe not. Maybe not. I'm just reading something about his body language. It tells me I feel like he's going to play this bingo here um, and take an even bigger lead. So right now, a play of plain by Oshivire going to 179. Edda hasn't played it yet. So the, long, the longer time goes by, the longer that time goes by and he hasn't played it, the more I worry that he's missed it. So if he has missed it, what's he going to do? Um, I don't know. I guess he could play something here. He could put his G here and go across with a play right here with like got, G-O-T. That works well enough, I suppose. But it would be a good opportunity to bingo now while he can. But I guess he's not going to, or else it's very likely that he would have played it. Oh, what's this? I see. I got to fix that too. Interesting. He just plays gut. And for a pretty low score too, seven points. Oh, wow. He, he, he did. He fooled me. But this is so crazy. He Because <laughs> he sees gut rot and he has an S. So he must not know the the anagram. That's really surprising. Like he's so so like that's as close as you can get to playing the bingo here. Oh, is he gonna? Oh my God, the psychological. He's doing it. Yes. Yes, he's psyching. He's psyching. His is this would be the master psych out. Please, please now play rot guts and raw. That I I have to. Get, all credit to Etta if he does that. Yeah. <laughs> yes, there it is. We love it, folks. The psychology on full display here. It's coming. And the S, and the, I bet the S is going to be the last tile. He's going to sit, he's going to look at it, and then down will come the S. Oh, my God. Oh, what's he doing? Don't torture us like this. We're we're sitting here edge of our seat. What's what is he gonna do? I I fully expect that at the end of the day, rot guts is coming down here, and frankly, not only would I give him ten points for this word if I was Oshavira Vire, I would give him the Oscar. I would give him the Oscar. Is he gonna play Ga? Okay, no. Down it comes. I have never seen anybody work so hard for 10 points, 10 extra points. It, Oshavire, is he going to challenge this? <laughs> I hope so. 
Let's see. No, it doesn't look like doesn't look like anything anything came of it. Looks like Oshavire is instantly just not even caring, and he's about to play something on top there. Whatever that whatever that might be, I'm not sure what he's thinking of playing there. Maybe Neef N E A F E. Yeah, the Oscar the Oscar goes to yeah. That's a great. That's just great. Um. I don't do that very much, but maybe I should. Maybe I should just complete, you know, completely mess with my opponents more. Because it's actually hilarious. It's really funny. I don't know. I legitimately think it's fun. All right, play of Fen. For Oshivire, he elects not to block the top of the board. I think that play, the play of Fen scores quite well and leaves pretty good tiles. So that's always a good attribute of any play if it scores well and leaves you good tiles you're off to the right track you're on the right track i should say um so all right there's the new rack for etikaro it's good enough he, okay, so he's going to go ahead and block the top of the board, just playing Yi. I understand that. At the same time, that spot at the top of the board, it's probably the most dangerous spot, but it's not particularly likely that Oshivire has anything super damaging up there in that spot where Eda just played Ye. Looks like he's rethinking. No, he plays it. He plays it. He hits his clock and plays it. So in this situation, especially with like the X is already on the board. Here, let's get this up here while we're looking. The X is already on the board here, right? So it's not that dangerous to play. All right. Looks like we're seeing another play real quick. Or no, maybe he's just adjusting his tiles, I think. Um. Mariners, okay. Any baseball fans? Baseball fans out there, I'm so sorry. If you're a Mariners fan, you're hurting right now. Surnamer, yeah. Surnamer would be a fair bit better than Mariners here. So Mariners scoring 62. Pretty good. But again, in the same situation with this same rack... Oh man, I forgot to make Quackle have the racks. I'll fix all this at the end of the day. It'll be better tomorrow. But with the same rack, you have Surnamer, as Evil Budgie points out, for 12 more points. And maybe you kind of like the aggression of it too, putting that S hook out there in space, given that Oshavire is down by about 90 points. So there's some, some idea there, but also just simply opening the E right this e of uh Mar this e of mariners is also super dangerous which i would typically regard that as a bad thing maybe oshavire likes it because he needs more dangerous spots on the board to complete his comeback um but yeah i think it's yeah i mean that is it is a, a pretty reasonable sized mistake you want the 12 extra points and you don't want to get crushed I expect we're going to see board, and there we are, about to see board for 42 points. Looks pretty good. Leaving LV, that's not the greatest, but for 42 points, you'll do a lot of stuff, and that seems pretty reasonable. Um, so Etta moves up to 350 now. Getting closer to the end of the game. So... Um, Tile tracking will start to come into play at some point. In fact, we might be able to start showing it now. So from Oshavire's perspective, the pool looks like this. Not altogether bad. Whoops. I guess I probably should be putting the blank at the end. Yeah, that's better. Um, so, whoops, sorry. Oh, he's playing upside down. Or wait, what did he just do? Did he play something? 
I don't even know what happened. I don't see a I don't see a new play on the board. So did he exchange even though we had QU together? That doesn't make any sense. Um I'm not seeing. I'm looking around. I'm trying to understand. Yeah, I guess he exchanged. It looks like he exchanged down to like QUS, which I guess is, I don't know, maybe that's defensible. Um, I would think something like Chav through the A of Mariners is significantly better than that. But okay, so, um, so over to Etta. He has the second blank. That's definitely music to his ears, music to his eyes, whatever. I'm not even sure. A sight for sore eyes, music to his ears. Oh, I don't know what other senses. But uh, what is he getting set to do here? I would assume he's getting set to play something like Vo in this spot here probably we're gonna see the o and the e follow it here whoops never mind um so yeah he's thinking it over i think the v is still just on the board so He's just having a good long look at that V to see. I assume maybe part of this is he's just double checking and triple checking to make absolutely sure that there are no plays that reach all the way, right? Like if he could, he would want to play like this that put the V in the good spot with the double letter score. Um, but no such play exists. So he's, he's just making absolutely sure, but I do think... The eventual play we're going to see made here is just VOE. That has the advantage of taking up that good scoring spot and also, um, I don't know, it doesn't really do much. Wow, okay, never mind. That's what he was really going for. He was, ta he was going taking the extra think of, do I want to burn my blank here? And he's opted to do so. Interesting. So the the idea here is just to go up by enough that pretty much nothing Oshavire does can catch you. I guess that makes sense. I think Etta was already up by enough points in the game that he probably didn't even have to worry about this scenario. Um, you know, from his POV... Oshavire almost has the word squared on his rack, for example, right? He almost has squared on his rack, which would have gone down with boards for a massive score had he allowed it to go down. So after veal, that's no longer possible. So maybe that's the thinking here. Um, so, right. So what I mean is like, Whoops. Yeah, right here. Squared going across would score a massive amount. So if that's the biggest possible threat on the board, maybe addressing it makes some sense. Um, so... Play instead of Dern, just setting up the S, that same that same SQ something possibility. Again, though, the score now is pretty out of hand. Um, if we go to the analysis and we give Etta the rack that he actually has, the unseen tiles to him are extremely unthreatening. So here's the unseen tiles that he's looking at. C-F-H-K-O-Q-S-U-V. It doesn't seem like there's even an SQ play that actually reaches the triple at all. So that's, he he's sitting here and saying, this looks really good to me. I also have a Z bomb ready to go down in the upper corner if I want it, as long as I can make absolutely sure that I'm not going to get hit with anything super scary. And the other thing that Etta has to worry about is 
what happens if I pick the Q? Which he's obviously still winning. But in this particular case, if he picks the Q, he at least threatens... If he plays something like Zoo in this upper corner here, he at least threatens Cat in this spot here if he draws the Q. Sorry for my atrocious writing. Yep, exactly. As Tactics says, um, all, all true. So this is looking pretty good for Etikaro. I think Etta started out... I actually... He, he had a slow start, as I said, at the outset of this round. And um, I was basically not even sure that he was playing. I had thought that he was playing for sure, but I didn't see him in the top 20 where I would for sure expect him in a tournament that has like 25 or 26 or 27, something like that number of players. I would definitely have expected him to be in the top 20. But as I said, he's definitely headed there. He is definitely headed there soon enough. So he is just doing his due diligence to try to uh, try to figure out what are the things that I actually have to worry about here. Um, let me move the board a little so you guys can see it better. And yeah. I, I definitely expect him to play either Zoo or Zo here. I don't think he has a compelling reason to play Zoa, especially because if he draws the Q, it'll work out much better if he has an A in hand just to prevent some of the plays that Oshaviri might make if they would give Kat up. So it's looking good. Good morning, Bionak. It's not that late on the West Coast. 9 a.m., just hitting 9 a.m. That's a normal wake-up time. Oh, what happened to the board here? Let's get it out of my camera. So we shall see what Edda elects to do here. He's certainly using up every last bit of time. So that I honestly, that's kind of a welcome, that's like a welcome change from, <laughs> from the players playing so fast. It's, there's nothing wrong with playing fast from my selfish perspective. When, when players play fast, I can't keep up with all the stuff that I have to do on my, on each play. So I like it when players are thinking a little bit, of course, from a viewer perspective, it's probably better to watch as fast play as possible, but. Um, I don't know. I like I like having a moment to catch my breath here on these things. Um, um, so yeah, we'll just have to see what he ends up playing. Is he? He's checking tiles clearly. Clock ticking. He's in absolutely no danger of losing. He's really just as, you know, we've talked about it before. The tiebreaker between um, players with the same number of wins is your margin of victory. So he's just trying to make absolutely sure that he does whatever he can to maximize that margin of victory. And there we see the Z is about to be played. Um, we'll go back to the main screen. So Oshavire, oh boy, it's worse than it's worse than we could have imagined. <laughs> so the there are two tiles in the bag right now, and those tiles are the C and the O. All right, so Azo is the play, potentially setting up another another a certain. I don't know what he could draw that gives him an nn play i don't think there is anything like that so tiebreaker should be whoever resigned with the most time left on clock yeah resign gang i don't know i don't i've i've never found it to be oh con that's right yeah c-o-n-n -N. there you go so that's kind of nice setting himself up to have a nice play like that um that's probably the only that's likely to be the only thing double n play 
that's lurking. Okay, there it is. That is the play that has officially been selected by Etta. It's going to be a 444 to 3 to 303. Oshivire immediately, just absolutely instantly, plays calf through the A of Mariners. That is his highest equity play. It does leave him two places to play Souk on the next turn, but he's not going to get a chance to play that, I don't think. Oh, uh, yeah, he will. Edda will play Khan, and then he will. Yes. Okay. So good planning by Etta to set up that spot to play his double N. I expect we're going to see Derns and Sooks here. Oh, what's happening here? Is this is the... Wait, wait, wait. He's going to go... He's going to take a time penalty. Very... What? What a strange... What's going on here? Why not play Khan? Uh, I'm not understanding. Is he trying to do some kind of V stick? Maybe he's V sticking. <laughs> Is this a first? I don't know. We've seen a lot of very, very quick play, so it's possible. Ooh. Excuse me. Been up since, uh, a little while here. Um, okay, Otic, the play instead. A lot of interesting ideas here. I guess the point of this is to set up for a V-stick. I don't really know, because Suk is going to play no matter what. This could Suk will get played at the bottom of the board, and then you would probably be V-stuck. But so what? There's only two tiles. Sorry. Um, all right, so score now. 325 to 460. And uh, yeah, not 100% sure the logic there, but it felt, I mean, there's definitely a number of ways to go there. I think Khan was fine. It scored so many points. We saw at a pl almost play it. Maybe he thought a G's was a word. Um, that's intriguing. I highly doubt it because a G is such a commonly seen word at this level. These players would have seen that word pretty consistently, but I wouldn't put it past anyone to have a brief moment of doubt and say, boy, I don't want to, I don't want to chance it because if I'm wrong, I'm going to get hit for a humongous score if a G's was a word. So that's an, that's a pretty, that's a pretty good possibility hop up as to what motivated that play. Um, it could also just be locking one of the two spots for Souk and setting up a kind of a nice, a cool place to play your N with a gone underneath there. A-G-O-N and no and two. That play would be fitting. Uh, let's see. That play would be fitting right here, and O oh, as an outplay. I fully expect Etta to play that quickly on his next turn. I'm very intrigued. Are they... Oh, they must be confirming the score. I see the clock is stopped right now. So that's kind of surprising. <laughs> yeah, Jellamokas points out that the play I just referred to is no, which is the, the classic battle cry of... Uh, Originated by Tim Weiss, Scrabble player from North America. Has sort of uh, permeated some of uh, Scrabble Twitch. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. They must be verifying the score. I see them looking. The timer's not running. Okay, they're happy. And now, clock started again. So this is definitely a solid win for Edicaro here. Um, no doubt about it. He's up by well over a hundred. 
nothing doing this late in the game with just the Q and V on the rack. It is, yeah, I mean, I would, this is not a turn to spend too much brain power on, right? The the issue here is wanting to use the Q while you still can. I don't think there really is another place other than Derns and Souk. Yes, you will get V stuck afterwards, but Etta has only two tiles, so it's not really that big of a deal. It is it is technically best after Souk. It will technically be best for Etta to play first his N at, with a gone, and then given that Oshaviri will be V stuck, he should play his O here as his follow up play. That scores more points than just no all at once uh but etta only has 11 more seconds on his clock until he'll take another minute of overtime penalty so i think he'll very likely just play no in the spot that we've suggested and the game will be over it's yeah surprising i will say that i've been in situations like this where I lose a game, a tough game, and my brain is just kind of fried. And I respond by sort of decompressing a little bit in the end game, right? It's not it's not impossible that you just want to just slow down and go ahead and oh, what's this? What in the world is this? I'm very confused by that. Okay, now I guess I am even more confused. Play of Skug for Oshavire, really costing him a lot of spread. Not being able to play that Q there. Maybe he didn't think Derns was a word. It's possible that it's possible that he doubted the S hook on Derns. That's the only rationale that I have for that. I don't think he would miss Souk as an option. So instead, you now you definitely just go out with no. Maybe it's still, no, it's still probably better to slow play this. Yeah, definitely better. In fact, it's even better by putting the S there. You get more points for your O in that spot. Either way, no big deal. That is a surprising conclusion to the game, but it is purely academic. Um, and the final score here is going to be 334 to 504. However, Atacaro loses 10 points on time. Every minute of time you go over after the, well, every minute of time you go over, period, costs you 10 points per minute once you hit that next minute threshold. So Etta loses 10. Yeah, Derns is, uh, Derns is a Collins word. So it is, it is surprising. Um. Oh, oh no, no, no. Uh, Binac is yeah. Binac was. It must have autocorrected Derns to scene. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, phone. Yes, I understand. So, all right, there you have it. That's round eight. This game was most notable, in my opinion. There are a couple interesting things about this game. So, if we go back. Um, from, is this going to be upside down board? Yeah, it is. So if we go back and take a look at this game from the get go, I think emoting was kind of interesting because Impetigo played there, but then this was a pretty interesting sequence. Instead of Butyric at a place by then draws Trounce, which is going to play in that spot, but Diata made it hit even harder. This is the most fun part of the game for me, which was th th this is where an annotation cannot capture the spirit of watching a live stream. If you're just going to see the annotation, you're going to see that Etta played Iwi and then Oshaviri played Plane and Etta played Rot Guts. But what you won't see is that first <laughs> Etta played Gut, stared at it for a few seconds then added rot to it then picked it up <laughs> then put down just a couple letters here then picked them up then 
went back to this play, I think, and then eventually played rot guts and hit it. Just going just going full full on. Uh Oscar worthy, trying to get a challenge. Osavire didn't even blink. He just kept on playing. So um what's happened here there? So, yeah, and then from there, I guess it was kind of an interesting decision of whether Etta should or, you know, would burn a blank um, on the veal turn. And uh, he opted to and obviously ended up winning by a ton, so it's hard to really um, quibble with any of that. 